Oh, my bedroom. That's where I am. <laughs> it always looks like this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what's more comforting than a mattress with your own blood on it? <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> I want to sleep in my own spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yummy, yummy. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is because the because it's a text game. There's no like visual stimulus, so I'm sitting here listening to the words. <laughs> You're sitting here hallucinating. Full of our burden. We all dropped acid before recording. I feel like we're slowly getting a painted picture of this Lavar burden. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We got everybody in the room again. It's, it's, we did it. Is one of those scary games? I, I guess so. I mean, Scarecade's I could just not, not over yet. Anything to what? Your statement that we all got together a lie. <laughs> just refused to speak for the duration of any of the recordings. <laughs> yeah. So there's one thing I actually, so weirdly, Mm -hmm. So this brings up, um, like, Bioshock and all of them. Like, I know people used to always get, like, freaked out. Like, I think it's tryptophobia or something when you use, like, the bug power, because, like, the bugs would come crawling out of holes in your skin. I love that shit. <laughs> so it's like, violence, <laughs> yeah, murder, bleh, gore, bleh, body horror. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that fish game apparently has a lot of tryptoph tryptophobia in it. Mm -hmm. Is that the, uh, like... When there's like a lot of dots. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like fear of holes. Yeah, it's yeah. like holes in your skin and yeah. all that. Holly thinks I have that. <clears throat> hmm? Really? It's possible. Because the it bottom, be. the bottom common... of, you know, like when you have like a really big orange. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bottom of orange is that where it's got like all the little uh, bits, like where, where it starts to split open and you can almost see like a bunch of little bumps. Yeah. It makes me really uncomfortable. And I so mean, does craft dinner. The whole point of <laughs> the whole point of trypophobia is actually like a like a physiological response. Oh no, I, I definitely don't be like, oh, KD! No, no, but I mean like <laughs> what I mean is like people don't like trypophobia because it's like representative of like disease and stuff like that. Mm. And like harmful yeah. like human conditions. So people don't like that naturally. That's mm. why it's used so heavily. Like, yeah. <coughs> you get the you weirdos like, like me. They're like, "Fuck!" Are you yes. are you a guest star in this episode? Or are you gonna? Yeah, hi, Are You playing with us? Get right. him to make the Chewbacca noises. How do I <laughs> do this? Yeah, uh, we're playing probably Star Wars, Bolin. You probably click begin. <laughs> oh, I have to click it. It's your fault. The world is ending. Well, fuck. <laughs> What is this? Oh, again? Is this supposed to be we're killing all the bees and because of that the world's gonna end a la <laughs> fucking bee movie? Oh, it's hornets. I know. That's why I'm saying the messaging is off. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Okay. This right. is not <coughs> oh, is, is, is this like a full on text adventure? Oh, okay. I, I didn't think so. I guess I have to read. Good. Me with allergies. <clears throat> the city center. A tangle of squat square buildings with no doors compressed their skin knitted together by years and poor planning. The roads are black cobble, black like the sky, so that it looks like the city hangs in empty space. The air quivers and buzzes and shakes. The horizon glows red. The city's heart is quiet, withered, still. What are you gonna do? Your name is Mine. Quick. <laughs> Pronounce it. <laughs> Manie. <laughs> let's go. I fucking. I feel like I already know what this game is, so let's do this. Mark it! <clears throat> the city's festival square, when not used for appraising the gods, becomes crowded over with tents and stalls. Ooh. Dozens of bodies, most of them punctured by stingers or eviscerated by chitinous jaws, are strewn across the square. Nearly every stall is a splintered ruin. Hornets circle and hover overhead or cling at mania. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Motionlessly to the nearby city walls, they ignore you. Sounds <clears throat> like you should be interacting with them stalls. <laughs> Hell yeah. You notice that one of the nearby stalls, which is still intact, once belonged to a brushmaker. 
You step towards the stall and survey the fruits of the dead woman's labor. Glyph painting brushes fanned <laughs> out across the stone, each of them exquisitely beautiful. You kneel and pick one up, placing it in your satchel. <clears throat> you can feel it when Nathan's brain is like crossing. <laughs> I know. We're, I fucking can't do words. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 gardens. <clears throat> the gardens. Curled up in the shadows of buildings and away from the fires and lights of the city center, mosses climb walls and fill corners. V- oh. <laughs> Vines drape themselves across forgotten statues. Fleshy black willows with velvet, vi- violet. violet leaves. <laughs> Thank you. Grope <laughs> yearningly for the ground and the sky. <clears throat> Doorways are grown over. Footpaths are lost. Two hornets are mating in a clearing. Backsides connected. Bodies writhing and contorting in Clodio Coithole stupor. Chittens slick with blood. They ignore you. Excuse (sighs) me. I really wish I I would have preferred a content warning. (laughs) Far, far too obscene in my eyes. God, YouTube's gonna shut us down! Not in my (laughs) Christian basement! (laughs) God damn, I thought we were playing a horror game, not a horny game. Same thing. (laughs) They don't have to be mutually exclusive, baby. You know what they say about horror games. (laughs) I keep getting older, they stay the same. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, look, I can go on an alcove. Ooh, ooh, ooh. (laughs) Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 alcove. Okay, now you have to read the rest of this in ooh. (laughs) (laughs) Alcove. Oh god, I can't do this. <laughs> Already right off. Uh, Already off the bat, I can't fucking do that. <laughs> Unless you want to give it a no, shot. No, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> you used to come here sometimes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, we all know what I did. Watching here. them hornets. Yeah. <laughs> One of those kinds of anomalies that simply occur in cities that grow naturally. Separated from the garden by a lockless iron gate. A small spaced wall in by conjoined buildings. (laughs) A single bench beside a small wishing well. From here, in the small square view of the sky, there are no stalls. Stars. Only wings. (laughs) (laughs) The stalls are back there. (laughs) I mean, it's true, though. There are no stalls. <laughs> so, like, are you, like, dead or something? Like, why are there hornets everywhere then? They're just I, I feel like the apocalypse happened, and the hornets are like, yeah, this dude caused it. Maybe you're, like, maybe you're the hive that walks. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go to the wishing well. Are you saying you're a hornet? Well, so... Well, like, a hive that walks is, like, somebody that's a swarm. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> oh. You are the swarm. I was gonna say, why aren't you getting it on then? <laughs> I mean, there could be if them you are, getting it if on. If you are part of the swarm, you are getting it on while you're doing all this because <laughs> you are the hornets that are fucking in the corner. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're a beta hornet. Yeah, <laughs> a sigma hornet. <laughs> Ooh, I don't even need to get sting on that anyone. Sigma hornet grind set. <laughs> yeah. Something is shining beneath the water. You reach in to take it is a shiny, polished, humanite statue of a creature called a dolphin. You had imagined them very different. You take the statuette. So far, I'm enjoying this fucking game. I'm expecting, like, some picture to, like, suddenly, like, spring up at some point. Mm -hmm. You know, like, those old, like, early 2000s horror games when it's just like, BAM! Picture! It's like, oh, PNG! So what, they're gonna pull, like, a fucking Team Four Star (laughs) Final Flash? Fucking, or not Final Flash, uh, Solar Flare. Put in a single frame of, like, Frieza in the shower and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never, I, I remember one of them, they literally just had, like, insects fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the game we're playing! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, back to the gardens. <coughs> Off to the city center. I already read this. <sighs> 
Where are you gonna go now? Building! You pick a door and enter. No one to stop you. You are the only one in the city who isn't hemorrhaging. Quick, Jordan, what's the definition of hemorrhaging? Hemorrhage is bleeding. This, is, this has job. been medical knowledge <laughs> on Wild Rose Arcade. <laughs> Advice with Jordan. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody tell Dr. Oz there's new competition in town. <laughs> I mean, to honestly compete with Me with good old Mehmet, which is his first fucking name, by the way. Yeah. I literally have to say nothing, and then I'm still giving better medical advice. That, that is I true. know, right? Yeah. Soft silks, cushions, pretty furniture, bottles of green glass, incense burners adorn shelves, Tables alters the house of a clothier or a scroll right. Two bodies, one stung, the floor beneath them visible through the gaping hole in their chest, the other having chosen not to leave their lover's side. Gentle floral scents are made somehow perverse by the heavy smell of blood. How big are these fucking hornets? I was gonna <laughs> say, there's an episode of Futurama with these hornets. <laughs> I'm waiting for the reveal that it's actually not humans. Like it's hornets and some other type of insect. No, yeah. maybe. Oh, like a Hollow Knight Bees. situation. I've never yeah. played Hollow Knight, but I assume... Well, I just yes. I just mean like, y you're a bug, but it doesn't really draw attention to it. Because mm -hmm. that would make sense. Like you're like an ant or something. <laughs> yeah. Let's go in the streets. That would have do, to be do, a do, pretty do. small dolphin statuette, though. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Like the guy that carves stuff out of pencil lead. <laughs> you walk. The entire city is baying. It has thousands of throats. A thousand. It's throats. Michael baying? It's blowing up? Oh my god. Oh my god. These hornets are exploding on contact! <laughs> They're not hornets. They're bumblebees. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Uh, a narrow street wraps around behind a row of villas and presses its face against a stone wall. Bodies are slouched here, their chests and stomachs and backs opened by a massive stingers or tearing mandibles. The yeah, city's... Like, are you a bee at this point? Like, I, I am the bee. <clears throat> Can you use your fat bee dumpy to twerk? <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like in the You gave me movie. twerking yeah. music, maybe. You like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> you like twerking to jazz? <laughs> Man, you ever put on some John Coltrane and twerk it out? You've never heard of jazz? <laughs> love twerking to a love supreme. <laughs> <laughs> that jazz funk. <laughs> Hell yeah. Listen, if you can't twerk to Pharaoh Sanders, don't even talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where haven't I gone? I've gone market. Have I gone to the plaza? I don't think so. I don't think so. You haven't gone to the temple or library? I haven't either. gone to these ones. I guess plaza first. Ah. A wide stone terrace. A hundred thousand squares and triangles of colored glass set into the streets, which shone like a field of opulent diamonds on festival nights when the moons were full and close. Perforated bodies littered the area. The air is rank with blood. Several hornets on the other side of the plaza are ravaging some of the corpses, disemboweling them with their mandibles, puncturing their inert forms with their stingers again and again, Reveling, they ignore you. <clears throat> that colored glass, bro. Colored glass! The glass would glow and sing depending on the moons. And on the things it felt through the feet of the dancers and what it was poured on it. You once poured the last of your wine onto a pattern shaped like a month. <laughs> like a month, month. <laughs> like a moth and it bathed you in sapphire light and the song it sang pulled the breath from your lungs like an undertow right now with only blood to drink the glass is wailing I like the story building like yeah. the world it's yeah, setting up like I can already tell it's like a very fantasy world cause like 
moons. I'm like, yeah, we only have one, smartass. Uh, <laughs> we only have one of those dumbass. Oh, uh, hey, nerd. <laughs> A little more sassy than I intended. All right, Temple <laughs> Magistrate. <coughs> Houses turn to temples, and the streets are punctuated with shrines, statues, murals. One road leads up to the side of a hill, curling serpentine along the slope, to where a great circle of fluttered columns holds up the domed roof of the oracle. Nearby, a hornet stands motionless and top the roofs of two conjoined temples its black head pointed towards you, the orange of the horizon reflected in its carapace. Uh, <laughs> Arouse the hornet! <laughs> it's Put on some berry manilow! <laughs> <laughs> you know, just me twerking to berry manilow. <laughs> uh, mm. You ascend the smooth steps that lead up to the hill from the temple district in approach the oracle, passing through one of the grand arches that make up its walls. One of the elder invokers is pacing the grand circular chamber, keeping guttering candles lit and crying to himself. Your footsteps signal your entrance. He turns to face you and goes pale first, then red. He pitches his candle at you, and it snaps against the marble floor. I feel like I'm a swarm that walks. <laughs> You have murdered us all, he says. We had such hopes for you. The ink you... The ink so loved you. You could nearly hear it singing, but you have murdered us. For what? For what? Uh... Who do I want to be? You're standing in front of the guy doing this. <laughs> you're singing while you're twerking. Skip it a boop, bop, 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 bop. Because I had to. <clears throat> the elder spits at you. Hot. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> Wait, my mouth was closed. <laughs> <laughs> Do it Spit again. right in here. <laughs> Wasp elder. <laughs> the air stirs suddenly. Guttering the candles, the sound of droning approaches fast. The elder casts his eyes about, then begins to run. The oracle shakes as a hornet touches down just outside. The elder screams. The hornet forces its head through the archway. In an instant, without a sound, the hornet's mandibles are around the elder's middle. Without sound, the hornet's mandibles slice the elder in half. The body topples, blood and viscera fanning out across the candlelit marble. The hornet lifts off again. Departs. Depart? Oh Depart. no! <laughs> Do we have to shoot more doors? <laughs> no, you gotta sting them. Sting them! Sting the doors. That's why the guy died when he came up behind you, because you were a, a hornet. Oh. And it ran into your stinger and died. <laughs> Damn. You just need to hit it. Hit, you just need to attack with that bee dumpy. <laughs> Bump fuss with him! <laughs> The wide circular chamber is quiet, the orange light of old candles making the columns and archways shake like a mirage. You are surrounded by the judgmental statues of the gods and goddesses. Her smooth, on her smooth, naked belly, the statue of hate still wears the glyph you drew upon her. The corpse of an elder invoker is here, divided in half at the trunk. Cliff. Words abstracted into symbols, woven together, interlocked, activated. Death swarm and wings night. You are among the most gifted. Even as the ink left your brush, you felt your anger draining. Until when the final line was laid against her stone skin, you stood and ga gaped at what you had done. The cause of your fury forgotten, limbs leaden with shock at your own actions and knowledge of catastrophic ir irreparable change <clears throat> there were maybe three seconds where you might have undone it might have stopped everything but they had not taught you how to erase there's no such thing as impermanent ink <clears throat> yep <clears throat> you're a butterfly the orb. you can't trust those under fuckers. the orb <laughs> consider the statue 
Ung, ung, unger. Unger, father of the tall. Unger. <laughs> unger. <laughs> Father of the tall stone, god of buildings, tools, cities, and invention. Thank you for correcting me where Rob won't. <laughs> I struggled through an entire game not knowing what the fucking name was. I, I told you several times. <laughs> and you think that changed anything? <laughs> I'm just saying I'm not the one at fault. <laughs> That was my yearbook quote. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who yeah. reads it is just wondering, <laughs> what is he talking about? Dude. Or, or is, what no, a, he was saying that all the time. <laughs> what a fucking awesome yearbook quote. <laughs> God, missed opportunities. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Aria. <laughs> Aria, mother of the endless song, goddess of music, beauty, dreams, and madness. You don't fuck with Aria. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, Ink. Ink, mother of the page, goddess of language, art, and secrets. Statue. I've already done hate. Uh, hate, mother of the hive, goddess of fury, plague, wings, death, and stinging insects. Forgive me. Uh, Sarah Statue. Nail. Nail, mother of the Nail. sea of knives. <laughs> Nail. Mother of the sea of knives, goddess of chains, agony, blood, metal, and rust. Hell yeah, metal. I have a bitch of an itch on my left ass. <laughs> <laughs> Kill it like the rest. <laughs> Pyre. Pyre, father of the sun, god of fire, desert, salt, and desiccation. Okay. Sarah statue. Signal. Signal, Father of the Black Towers, God of Noise, Interruption, Nightmares, and Telepathy. These are very polarizing gods. <laughs> Aren't all gods? Yeah, but they all have like... I'm, I'm sorry, it's swirl building. I'm <laughs> finding shit interesting, don't listen to me. <laughs> I like writing, go away. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate a good world. Uh, Apothecary. <coughs> Tables, bottles, mortars, and pedestals. A wasp. Pestles. Pest. <laughs> Pestle. Pestles. Sorry. Pestles. Pestelles. 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 Pizza and wings. <laughs> <laughs> the only establishment that survives the apocalypse. <laughs> We're saved. <laughs> I'm just imagining like, like game Fallout, and there's just like a Domino's <laughs> or like a Pizza Hut, just in the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by mutants, but everyone's still just completely normal in the Pizza Hut. <laughs> it's like the Burger King game. You can only get the game at Domino's. <laughs> I just imagine Sneak King sneaking through the fun or uh, the wasteland. The wasteland. <laughs> oh <Standing> god, Domino's. <laughs> at Domino's. Sorry. <coughs> oh, allergies are a wonderful thing. Tables, bottles, mortars, and pestles. <clears throat> a wasp ravages the tissue of a tree, which swells with toxins, which the apothecaries harvest lands, drain, and use for the mixing of ink. The blood of the city it had been called by people who are now or who now would gate. <sighs> <sighs> okay. <Almost. laughs> I've been called by the people who now would gasp at their own presidency. Presagacity. Presagacity. What does that mean? I don't actually remember. Hmm. Who would gasp at their own presagacity? A robed figure is slouched at a writing desk, an empty bottle in their hand, black fluid running down in rivlets from the corner of their slack mouth. Did this guy just fucking drink a bottle of ink and Maybe. No, biffed it? Ink. Oh, right, ink. Mm -hmm. Yay. Thank <coughs> you. There's a small glass vial with sharp edges on one of the tables. You pick it up. It feels warm and vibrant, singing to your skin. The wasp that gave you the ink... <clears throat> the wasp that gave you the ink that made the gall that made this ink shared your resonance. This ink was meant for you. You slipped the file into your satchel. That was a fucking sentence right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus. <coughs> okay. City center, I guess. <laughs> the library! The sconce is outside the entrance. Arch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I burped. <laughs> Alright, sorry for the top. <clears throat> the sconce is outside that end. <laughs> <laughs> We should play Zork and make Nathan play. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of a Wild Rose Reading Comprehension Arcade. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, third time's the charm. <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it isn't. <laughs> Hold on, sorry, I started laughing. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> This is the perfect game for me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I would need to work on my reading comprehension today. <coughs> uh, the sconces outside the entrance arch have toppled high above the great domed glass roof of the anth- Oh, fuck! Athenaeum. <laughs> Athenaeum <laughs> has been punctured. The hornets swarm in and out, shredding the flesh of history and science to build new nests. One of them clings to the facade, motionless head pointed toward the ground, its giant eye watching you ambiently. Ambivalently. Welcome ambiently. to the flesh of history. <laughs> God, the flesh of history is a very nice sen or never mind. <laughs> Statement, words, things. What do you call it? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Are we slowly listening to Nathan die? <laughs> <laughs> what if this was... Like, the, the doctors are like, we, we don't understand what's... He seemed to be perfectly healthy. Well, what's wrong? How did he die? We have it on tape. <laughs> he was playing a video game. It's playing a reading game. You're basically playing a mud. <laughs> God, I should get on the reading rainbow. <clears throat> He's got to go back to the 90s first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call up LeVar. <laughs> Imagine if we made it big and we had our first guest and it was LeVar Burton and we got him to play like an old reading rainbow game with Nathan. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, please. LeVar, what's this word? The. <laughs> what about this one? I. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I just want to learn how to read. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> the library, first floor. I, there are tears in my eyes for some reason. Hold on. It's making it hard to read. <laughs> That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. The marble walls and vastness of the library's first floor amplify the droning wing noises of the great hornets that writhe across the high ceiling. Many shelves and volumes have been destroyed. The floor is clean of bodies. It was to their homes or to the battlements that everybody ran, not the comfort of old knowledge. Suddenly, it had all become useless. <clears throat> all right over there? What are you laughing at? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what are you doing over there? I just... <laughs> I pictured something I can't repeat on microphone. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. We, we can always bleep it out. <laughs> <coughs> uh, I, I just I pictured LeVar Burton getting really mad. <laughs> Some racial slurs were involved. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I no. lost my grip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the library. <coughs> Second floor. <laughs> oh, God. The air is even worse up here. <laughs> God. <laughs> really need to open a window, Jesus. <sighs> Their wings stir the air. Cool gust that smell of ozone and brush the air out of your eyes. The dome above you. Hair out of your eyes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all that breeze is pushing the air out of my eyes. I can't breathe! <laughs> For fuck's sakes. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Their wings stir the air. Cool gust that smell of ozone. <laughs> Brush <laughs> the hair out of your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Ah, the dome above you, which depicted the deaths of the gods and which you had grown so used to staring at for long hours, is filling slowly with porous nests, shredded pages, and flimsy wing scales drift down to coat the floor. <clears throat> you, your, feel, oh, f your feet <laughs> feel sticky. <laughs> Toppled shells make movement impossible. Your feet? Uh, Your feet feel sticky? <laughs> my sticky feet. <laughs> Scriptorium. <clears throat> the center of your work, of your art, where your hands were trained to brush ink across page, while the vitae of creation ran like light through your fingertips. Taught to make your ink drink you and harden your will. <clears throat> you were taught too much. There are shelves of books filled with the knowledge of old masters. There is also the locked case full of pap papyri, papyri? Yep. <clears throat> where the aberrants are locked away from the unready. <clears throat> well, let's grab a book. Written in the hieroglyphs which so entranced you in your adolescence, you used to stare at them for hours, until their lines and curves became meaningless with Simnat. Are you okay? He's still thinking <laughs> of our bird. <laughs> Jesus. Did, did we find Tom's magical, like, humor bone? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just LeVar Burton getting angry. <laughs> the more you laugh at him, the angrier he gets. <laughs> <laughs> and just the fact that you've been giggling for the past ten minutes. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Here we are, four consummate professionals. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just because the because it's a text game. There's no like visual stimulus, so I'm sitting here listening to the words. You're just sitting here hallucinating. Full of our burden. We all dropped acid before recording. I feel like we're slowly getting a painted picture of this Lavar burden. <laughs> <laughs> First he was just getting mad, and then racial slurs were involved, and now he's beating up me. God damn. Just you calling it a painting just made me think of, like, LeVar Burton painted in the style of, like, Saturn devouring his son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, I now need you to edit a picture of uh, LeVar Burton looking like, uh... I don't know if I can. While we're playing this game, and all the black spaces just slowly faded in, is Lord <coughs> Varburn. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to fucking catch a breath. Oh, breathing exercises. Uh, written in the heteroglyphs. <coughs> Doing your breathing exercises. <laughs> Would you like some else to I... Are you struggling a little bit? Like I'll it's be not fine. Like you're dying a little bit every time. Every time you try to say a line, you're coughing more and more. It's my allergies, and I keep on laughing, and some trying to suppress my laughing. Well, well, let's let's give you a bit of a break so you don't slowly lose your voice. So. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R. Why is it always the simple games that make us all? Go down into madness. Because <laughs> we're all ADD inspired and there's not enough stimuli to keep our brain active, so they're slowly melting into a pile of soup. <laughs> Truly. Alright. 
Reading song. Okay. Written in the heteroglyphs, which so entranced. Hieroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. <laughs> For fuck's sakes, I'm going to fucking murder someone. The hornets weren't enough. Why is this not Lover Burton? <laughs> I can't murder him. He's my sensei. My angry, angry sensei. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Written in the heteroglyphs, which so entranced you in your adolescence. You used to stare at them for hours until their lines and curves became meaningless with somatic sensation. Satation. Sensation. Semantic. Semation. Sensation. Nation. Observing over. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Obsessing over the subtle poetry and quivering hidden energy in the shapes themselves, you knew how readily they could tear everything apart. And it made your heart flutter and your palms ache. Oh my goodness! Mm. It's an old-fashioned version of uh, palms, uh, palms weak, <laughs> arm spaghetti. <laughs> <coughs> Good God, you are not always like this. No, <clears throat> this game did things to me. <coughs> Meow. <laughs> Meow. Blah blah blah. Art such and such. Lot case. <coughs> <laughs> oh, he just coughed something up on the art. <laughs> oh, God, more hornets. on the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Good God. Whew. <clears throat> the Elder Invokers held their secrets tight, believing that the stability of the city relied on their reluctance to spread knowledge. Their reluctance relied on weak locks. You snap the hinge off the case and retrieve the papyrus Papyrus. of the one aberrant glyph you had not managed to see. Fire. The glyph teaches itself to you, practically slides into you, worming under and past your eyes and into your understanding. You now possess all of the knowledge that the Elder Invokers believed was required before you before before the world could See? end. <laughs> I, I, I love that in all the warnings that this game came with, fear of reading comprehension. <laughs> Literacy wasn't Literacy one of them. was not one of them. Content warning blood, gore, <laughs> big words. Big words. <laughs> big words. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll look at the gates, but I'm pretty sure I have to take this fire. <clears throat> Let's take it to that fire god. Gates! The great black gates of the city had always kept it safe from those who coveted its arts and music. They did nothing at all against the translucent wings of hate's titanic harbinger, harbingers. Only prevented the citizenry from dying outside in the grassy fields. <clears throat> Gatehouse. The room is narrow, lit by a single candle that sputters and coughs greasy smoke. A gate guard is here, slouched in a chair, trying to keep his entrails from leaving his body through the through a hole in his stomach. Blood laps down his front from his mouth. His eyes are glassy and pleading. He looks to you and coughs, groans, gurgles. On the wall is the winch that opens the city's front gate. Pleading. <clears throat> A small act of mercy, hither on to the only kind of which you are capable. You lean forward, retrieving your brush and ink from your satchel, and mark the guard's forehead with the death glyph. Channeling your will through the shaft of your brush, the guard's eyes widen and he begins to choke. The ink settles into his skin. Soon, his body is lax and lifeless. I'm a nice person. <laughs> <clears throat> do do do. Winch. You crank the winch. Outside the gatehouse, you can hear the low groaning of the city's gates opening to the dark fields outside. Tasty. (laughs) Fields. The dark sea of grass shivers and roils. The bloody orange horizon is dotted with the iron skeletons of distant towers. Everywhere on the horizon and in the sky and above the city and on the walls, the hornets are buzzing. Covering, 
soaring, perching, nesting, and they ignore you. <clears throat> so, I'm con- So when it comes to, like, the fucking glyph dudes, <clears throat> they happily teach you the glyph of death, but they never bother to teach you fire. Um... I mean, they- Maybe they believe fire is more destructive? Maybe they didn't teach you death. Maybe, like, Maybe you learned it some other way. Like yeah. LeVar Burton. <laughs> <laughs> Good old LeVar Burton. <clears throat> LeVar Burton painted it on you. <laughs> <laughs> he marked you with the, uh, with the glyph of death. <laughs> this didn't work. <laughs> he misspelled it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of wondering if there are multiple <laughs> ends to this. I'm not sure... I want to go down the path because I want to click everything. Yeah. But I'm also pretty sure that if I go back to the temple and stick the fire thing on the fire god, then, like, an ending will happen. But I'm not sure if just leaving is also an option. I, I'd assume so. Like, leaving seems like a way to an <clears throat> ending. So I guess the question is, do I want to keep on going down this path in case there's, like, no way back? Or do I want to go and fucking light everything on fire? Um, I mean, so far you've been able to <clears throat> go back. Like, you've been able to go back and forth as much as you want so i think if you were going to hit a point in a return it would be that you hit an ending mm -hmm. rather than like oh now i have like this 10 minutes of thing i can't go check this thing anymore so it, it, it's up to you basically you can try to go back to the statue see if you can do a thing first and go from there hmm <clears throat> hey guys like how much more reading do you want to do <laughs> <laughs> Leading away from the city, further out into the vast darkness of the fields and to the hills beyond, hornets are gay raising here. They ignore you. <clears throat> hornets are gay raising here. Gay raising. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Rising up from the fields like bloated sores on the skin of the world. Peaked with scabrous tufts of jagged leafless forest, hornets are mating here. Hornets are laughing here. They ignore you. Hot. Ouch. <laughs> wow, wow. It's <clears throat> hornet, um, you get stuck by all these hornets. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What? Woods. Branches snap like rotten teeth. The trees are tall and fleshless. No leaves, no moisture, no protection from the stars. Hills behind, a clearing filled with metal spires ahead, hornets are celebrating indulgently the brutal slaughter of your species here. They ignore you. Hours? <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> the Towers of Signal, where he struck the earth and filled the air with soundless noise, and where ink made love to him and gave birth to the language. Each one is as wide as the oracle. Each one is as wide as the oracle at its base, and each stretches so high that one must look straight up to see the top. Each is covered in tumescent, papery growths, nests virulent and unnatural. All of them bubbling with massive newborn hornets. They ignore you. <clears throat> All of the others are dead. Here and in the city, you are alone with the hornets. Here, among the feet of the towers, you are alone with the hive. Yeah, the components to burn it. I died ask what you're gonna do, but I feel like I know. Suspense. You retrieve the vial of ink and brush from your satchel. You open the vial, dip your brush, you reach forward and shut your eyes. The glyph of fire rushes up and etches itself against the backs of your eyelids. Your fingers begin to feel hot. <clears throat> the tip of your brush makes contact with the nearest tower. Nothing happens. Above the hornets are laughing. Above the hornets are breeding. Above the hornets are multiplying. Above, Hate is watching her children spread out across the surface of the earth, like an infection, watching one tiny creature with a brush attempting to use the god's own gifts against her. 
But of course the gods cannot be killed by their own weapons, and so she laughs. Damn. I guess that's the end. Yeah. Me? One of probably many paths. <clears throat> probably. Probably. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was cool. I like reading. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> it, it's trying to read things out loud. Mm. Yeah. Like, I'm a really fast reader when I can just do it in my head and I get everything down, but the instant I have to speak words... It's like, fuck. <laughs> so do you think you were a hornet? I, I, I get the feeling that like you were a human that's trying to fight against the hornets. I have a feeling you made I'm pretty sure you're the one that made the yeah. hornets yeah. there. Yeah, but I mean, like, so I, I, you're, you're the scientist that made the giant hornets. <laughs> <laughs> so it's... I'm kind of curious what the intention behind this story was, because in the beginning, it very much came across like uh, what is the term? I don't even remember what that term of literature is but where it's a story that it's trying to have a hidden meaning but then as it went on a little bit longer it kind of felt like no it's mm. it is being a fantasy and I think you have no redeemable qualities you are pretty much a character that's like using powers that other people don't want to use because they're dangerous and you're but like oh but knowledge is power mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> all right mm-hmm. that was fun go to bed credits <laughs> wow you did <laughs> it jordan you did it. i won the game Look, there you are in bed <laughs> you did with a hornet with a hornet Situation one. There we go, fucking hornets again. <laughs> go, go to, to bed. bed. <laughs> uh no. <laughs> you can't make I refuse. I can't wait for you to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> By your angry mother. <laughs> oh man, we, we all remember that as kids. <laughs> oh, oh, I I'm guessing I know what yeah, this is. Yeah, I think I might know. You gotta, like, burglar-proof the house before you go to bed. Probably. This is a home invasion thing, ain't it? Take a knife. Oh, you did take the knives. Ooh. Yep. Hell yeah. I didn't actually, I didn't actually see what that said. I didn't see that it said anything. It yeah. said something more before I clicked it. With the light on, you lunatic! Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> no, he has a clapper. <laughs> I think if you masturbated hard enough, you'd turn a clapper on and off. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you twerked hard enough, you could turn the clapper on and off. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying no, even though I did all this stuff. <laughs> you fucking lied to me. <laughs> you told me you did it! <laughs> no, I didn't hide the knives. <laughs> I'm just trying to be an honest burglar and you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a heavy sleeper. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you? Or are you just like sitting up in bed staring at the door? Well done. No one will get in. <laughs> so why did it ask me questions? I don't know. Is it for me to just sit there and be like, shit, I forgot to do that. <laughs> that'd, that'd be my guess. Fur bottles. Look more like wine. You're a wino. So you go to bed, you just get stabbed is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Interesting, the apartment's different every time, I guess. Yeah. So it's more of like a puzzle game. That's a trap door. Can I put something on top of it? Probably. Maybe it's just a cellar. That's a weird way to lock the door. <laughs> I've put a padlock on the door handle. Uh, no one yeah. will get in. Right through it. <laughs> Windows closed. Alarm is set. I want to put something on top of this. But I don't know how. Can I crouch? Be on it. 
You're Claim it as your saying own. Saying that as if I haven't already. <laughs> Come on, dude. Get with it. Maybe some in the kitchen. Put the knives on it. Yes. I'm wondering if it is. And just like I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment. Stuff. Is it literally just find the shit that you have to do every time and do it every time? Because I figured it would. Uh, is the house secure? Ah, uh, let's double check to make sure I actually got everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I want to go to bed. Come on, I want to go, go, go. Going to bed speedrun in real life. <laughs> But that's always the way to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> Rush around panicking right before you have to go to bed. Oh, yeah, Just bonk yourself on the head with a bat. <laughs> it's the bedtime speed run, bro. Hey, maybe just like walk into the couch and push it or something? Or the table no. or whatever there? Oh. oh. Why is there an arrow? Oh, it's oh, it's because my TV's on a box. That's unfortunate. <laughs> maybe you moved out of the old place and now you're in this one. And now the burglar's following you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll break into this house if it's the last thing I do. Is this like spy versus spy and one's retired and just like lives at home now and the other <laughs> one just keeps trying to break in? Well, I, I don't know. I haven't seen any like bear traps or dynamite yet. <laughs> yet. Yeah. We're only on situation two. That's true. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything more I can do, so I'm actually just going to keep. Oh, wait. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> The Hell light switch yeah. that opens the door. <laughs> awesome. I didn't ask you that time. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Dokily dokily. Hot. Mmm, meat. I knew you should have put something on that trap door. <laughs> 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 Looks like a face. Yeah, <laughs> looks like a face. The key Thank was making the music. Thank you for picking up my oh, screen. It's gone. <gasps> oh, it's oh, gone. No. What if you walked in there and there was just like a ripped guy doing like chin ups off of one of the hooks? Hey, brah. It'd be great. <laughs> So you found my key. Wait, were you in your own basement? Uh, seems like it. Huh. What's going on with the visual effect here? Everything's very weird right there. see black. <laughs> it's like fish-eyeing for some reason. Hmm. Maybe you're high. Am I the murderer? Is this what happens when you're high? <laughs> off in the comments. Locked and needs a code. Didn't you fucking grab a key? <laughs> Didn't you lock it? <laughs> oh, unless the person in the there person is that's the going to the bed is yeah. Unless the person inside of there is the murderer. Or the one yeah. who put you in there. Okay, where does one find a code? Maybe you have to go back in the cellar. I couldn't. I, I did check the alarm. Maybe I can cut the wire with something. Oh, so you made your own run harder. Ah. Oh, I see. That's an interesting twist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot! Bigfoot! <laughs> oh my god, it's a Bigfoot! <laughs> Bigfoot's trying to get me in bed! <laughs> Bigfoot's banging a buck! <laughs>
So you're going to try leaving the knives out or something? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. What? <laughs> I fucking love the running. Yeah, especially because he's not like running straight at you. He's yeah. like sideways running. <laughs> so, so now I'm going to do it properly, but yeah, I'm going I... to do the last thing improperly. <clears throat> Oops. Oops. I didn't actually need to do that. <laughs> well, time for a good night's sleep. Sure didn't. And we get to see him run again. Maybe if I'm honest, oh, yeah. he won't come and kill me. Because <laughs> he'll be like, you know, you didn't tell any lies, so, like, I'll give you that. You ain't no fibber. Here he comes to give me a present. It's Santa Claus. <laughs> it's the Krampus. <laughs> it's the Burger King. <laughs> nah, dude, it's his cousin, the Kurger Bing. <laughs> the Kurger Bing. It's Chandler Bing. Close the window. Alarm the alarm. <laughs> Door the lock and hide knife the, the knives. hides. <laughs> this is my going to bed song. <laughs> I sing it all night long. Instead of going. Alright, so bed. since he was not nice to me when I told the truth, I'm gonna tell him fib fib fib, fib lies. <laughs> Imagine hearing like in the middle of the night, just like bang 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 bang. Did you lock your door? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I also love how you don't do anything. I'm really kind of sad that when the alarm goes off and the police come and stuff like that, you don't hear like a bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like them clearly just fucking unloading on someone. <laughs> Speaking of, I need uh, w we need to bring my headset at some point and we need people to play Duck Hunt. For Halloween. Oh, that game. Yeah. Like, I've seen like it. Like NES Duck Hunt? You'll see. I, I've seen it. I'm not sure if Tom has. No, he definitely hasn't if he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You need to play Duck Hunt. I've, I used to own no, the you haven't. Duck Hunt. No, you haven't. <laughs> You'll see. You don't know. He plays the duck. All right. Close the window just in case. I'm gonna assume that means I'm right. Um, and let's set the alarm. But don't hide the knives. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know if like it's a fail condition to not have the door locked. Mm. Yeah. Sure is. I wonder if there's another one that you just go to bed. <laughs> yeah, like go to bed in here. <coughs> but first, <coughs> try getting out. Oh, oh you can. can. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, can... I'm gonna get out first. Yeah, first try getting out. Hello, face. <laughs> Hi, dead oh. person who's not actually dead. Did you say David Bowie? I said dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, David Bowie. Oh, yeah, that's David there. Bowie's iconic character. <laughs> Corpse on the ground. I want to grab the knives and just stab the dude in his sleep. <laughs> I guess first you have to check everything. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Okay, now... Heaven? Now, go to bed speedrun. <laughs> yeah. Time for sleeping and I am sleep. 
Need to lock the door so I don't get stabbed. <laughs> Yay, no stabbing. It's a good fun time. I wonder what the the if this is purely a tutorial or if this is supposed to be like this is the same character that's in the dungeon somehow. Ah, uh, possibly. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That's why you didn't wake up. Maybe you're drugged. Yeah. Someone spiked your sippy sippy water juice. I don't know why I went with that, but okay. Because it's a delicious drink that we all love. <laughs> we all drink mm, water. for bed. Delicious sippy sippy water juice. Hell yeah. It's like vitamin water, but it tastes... It costs twice as much. And it tastes half as much. <laughs> It tastes half as much. <laughs> it says it right on the bottle. <laughs> the little cartoon guy licking his lips and giving a thumbs up. sleeping. What do I have to be worried about? I'm a murderer. <laughs> oh, my bedroom. That's where I am. It always looks like this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, what's more comforting than a mattress with your own blood on it? <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> I want to sleep in my own spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Get out my way, meat. And and <laughs> this meat is too big. Man, man, it's me, Shelf Guy. <laughs> Shelfington. <laughs> I just love the singing key. Julian. Spookiest one of us all. <laughs> Where's that werewolf running around upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> we doed it. Yay. Yay. We went to bed. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Man, this game really covers the whole human experience. Yeah, truly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I... Going to bed, not going to bed, getting murdered. <laughs> the three much... things we all do in our <laughs> Pretty much the, the gamut of human experience. <laughs> yeah. I liked that it like flipped the flipped the tables on you without you realizing. Yeah, it was, yeah, that was fun. That was a cool idea. I could tell as soon as we were in the new house, I'm like, something's bizarre. <laughs> and then yeah. it, like the way it's asking you questions, I'm like, this is bizarre. <laughs> and then yeah, the second you went upstairs, it's like, oh, yeah, that <laughs> yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I'm the murderer. 